My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here for another episode of Civ 6. We are Basil, and we are just about ready to get started in the classical era. Uh, where we had left off, we have two cities. I've got a settler coming out here very shortly. And uh, yeah, we just got to figure out where where we're going to go. Maybe maybe this region. Uh, I would like to explore a little bit over here uh, because the last thing we want to do is let the the only iron deposit on the map be the only iron deposit on the map. I'm hoping there's one over here and we can kind of spread this way. Uh, we also can't see down down here quite quite well. So, uh, but this is near the bottom of the map. Um, so yeah. If you're looking for an explanation of this series, uh, go back to the first episode. It'll be uh, the first like five minutes. <laughs> we just ramble on uh, talking about what the series is. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I guess we just go ahead and get started. Uh, we are playing Basil. Um, our faith output is rather low. I'd like to bump that up a bit this uh, this era. And then we are probably going to start butting heads with Georgia soon, just because they are so relatively close, and we probably will want to settle uh, down here at some point. So we'll see. We'll see. We might go to war. We might not. Who knows? We'll uh, we'll find out here very shortly. As far as dedication goes, I think we're going to go with monumentality because, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we don't really have any major districts uh, in our cities yet, but hopefully... Uh, hopefully we can get Adrian Opal uh, up to speed on that, as well as uh, our third city, maybe our fourth city. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things play out. And I think we should go ahead and move towards Games and Recreation. We'll come back. Actually, let's let's come back and get Early Empire first, then Games and Recreation, and then head into Political Philosophy because we will want to upgrade our our government this era. Knowing we're going to go ahead and uh, build some more settlers, let's move in uh, colonization. That should definitely uh, that should definitely help a little bit. I think everything else we're going to keep the same. Uh, we do have a settler kind of just auto auto exploring. Uh, we are going to want to bring him back back over here in this area. Um, to do so, though, we should probably try and get open borders. Uh, with Arabia. And then, uh, yeah, we can just, uh, we can just scoot, scoot over there. We have two promotions available to us, so I think we should go ahead and promote, uh, promote Magnus. Go ahead and get provision just because we're working on settlers. And we'll also promote Liang. Uh getting the, the fishery will 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 be helpful. Okay, we've got our next settler, and we really don't have a lot of good opportunities here. Um so yeah, I mean we've got loyalty issues down this way. Uh we will eventually get loyalties up here depending on how things go, but uh, one, two, three, four. I think uh, bringing him over here right right in this spot. It'll give some jungles. Uh, we'll have wine. Wine will be somewhat useful to sell. Uh, but yeah, that's the direction we'll go, and we'll go ahead and uh, link him up with our spearmen. Okay, we just met Jerusalem. Uh, that, is, uh, that is nice. Jerusalem... Uh, Jerusalem has a really nice, unique bonus uh, once you're the Cizeran. Uh, the, uh, it's, uh, they exert pressure as if they were holy cities as long as they've got holy sites. That is good knowledge. Speaking of holy sites, uh, we need to verify that we've got um, some good stuff in the, in the queue. So let's go ahead and get a, let's get a holy site going. We've got a plus two down here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Okay, again, it's not ideal. We will have to deal with some loyalty issues, but uh, I think this is going to be a safe buffer spot for us. We'll go ahead and garrison him. And uh, we'll start popping some stuff into the queue. Go 
Go ahead and buy this tile. Get a plus two. Georgia, of course, is um, uh, making it clear that we have settled too close. I'm just going to say sorry, but uh, we're staying. We're, this is where we are. Go ahead and take that diplomatic favor for them, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up irrigation. Uh, we'll move forward in the wheel. And then uh, maybe maybe going in the harbor. Yeah, maybe going in the harbor direction would be would be good. But let's uh, let's get these two done and we'll, we'll come back. OK, we've got our first war happening right now. It appears that um, Arabia is fighting Lahore. Hmm, that's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, not much to this continent. Honestly, uh, I was hoping for more. Hoping for more. Okay, this builder, we're going to go ahead and uh, chop this woods. So that'll bring 10, 10 turns down on our obelisk. And then we'll try and start building up this, this city. Uh, this guy, we're going to put back onto Auto Explorer. Okay, we just picked up games and recreation. Again, I think we're going to keep everything the same for right now. Uh, let's start building some farms. Okay, we got another governor title. Um, how is loyalty in Odessa? Loyalty is on the rise, so we don't think we necessarily have to worry about that right now. Uh, we will at some point soon, though, I imagine. <laughs> uh, so we'll move, uh, we'll move someone over here when the time comes. Okay, Georgia is on the move. They've got a settler out. Uh, we need to make sure we've got another settler in our queue, and we do. Very good. But yeah, my guess is they're going to come over on this side of the of the bay. If they get too close. I mean, we we will have to make a move. Hey, we met Spain. Spain is all the way up here. Okay, pretty far away. Pretty far away. Send a delegation just to get on their good side. Okay, we just picked up our first galley, and we have unlocked our sec our first tier, second tier, second tier of government. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, uh, oligarchy, I think, would be good for melee uh, if we were planning on going to war this era. Uh, auto getting housing and amenities would be rather nice, though. Be rather nice. But I think... I think we got to prepare. <laughs> we got to prepare for war. Yep, let's go ahead and prepare because it's going to come. Plus two. That brings us up. We got uh, some more slots here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move charismatic leader. That'll give us plus two influence points uh, per turn. So hopefully we get some more envoys. And uh, we will move plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital uh, into our wild card slot. Okay, and then now we're going to move into theology because that will lead us into divine right, which we need for the Tagmas. Uh, our galley, we're just going to go ahead and auto explore. Just send him out. Enjoy your, your time out there, man. Okay, another error score because uh, this was floodplains. So we've gone ahead and uh, built a farm. Very good. We'll go ahead and build a, uh, a pasture here to, to collect these horses and then move on to this quarry, probably. Ooh. Maybe, maybe maybe another farm? We'll see. Actually, let's go and grab this fishery right here because that will introduce Amber to us. Tech tree wise, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to go into horseback riding. Currency would be good too. Um, and then we'll see what else we have, what else we have boosted moving forward. Okay. We found a barb camp over here. Something to be mindful of. Okay, we've got our first... Our first trader, uh, Lahore, wanted a trade route, so let's go ahead and send. Very good. That boosts currency. And yeah, uh, Georgia did settle right here. There is a dude. There is a dude right there. We should uh, we should be mindful, mindful of that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a quarry just to uh, hopefully get a little bit more uh, production in this city. Okay, we got some iron up here. 
wonderful. Okay, we need to keep this in mind. Let's go ahead and throw a uh, uh, a map tack. Let's call this iron. So far, I haven't seen anyone else up here. So, uh, but that will be a good direction for us to move into. We've got two potential barb camps, though. So, yeah, something uh, something to be mindful of. Oh, Spain is looking for all of our horses, all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Sorry, sorry, Spain. Uh, sorry, Aztecs as well. I need to retain those. Okay. We've got a lot of garbage happening up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not that's not good. Okay, horseback riding plus one, perfect. And we're stuck in a corner up there. Maybe maybe we'll loop around uh, over over on this side. Okay, because we've got a settler and we have another source of iron. Um, I've gone ahead and boosted up shipbuilding, uh, so hopefully we can get that uh, into motion. Uh, we need another builder uh, to build another fishery, as well as another galley here uh, coming up coming up shortly. However, um, that's going to take some time, so let's kind of peruse the map. Uh, one, two. Three, four, maybe we come over here in this direction. I mean, the land is awful, like absolutely awful. But we need to, uh, we need to at least consider it. Yeah, I think, I think we need to come over. Uh, let's also get our Hippodrome into the mix. We'll, we'll add it right here. And uh, that'll take five turns, which is, which is very good. Also put in ancient walls and we need another galley and we probably are going to want some more troops here coming, coming soon. Uh, this era. Wow. This era moved super quickly. We hit, we've got 10 more turns left. Um, geez, <laughs> like I've only been recording for like 20 minutes. Uh, shoot. Well, that, that was that was unexpected. Hopefully we can rush some things through. Uh, very good. Thank you. Uh, as far as civics go, I think we're going to go ahead and move straight into. Straight into divine right. Uh, we've got some envoys. We've got. Um, yeah, we need we need four points, three points. We've got eight turns. Let's go ahead and uh, get suzerainship of Lahore. That'll take one. Very good. So that's plus two. We just need one more and we'll get uh, a normal age. Uh, Policy-wise, we need to start generating some points. And I think I'm going to want a great general here coming up soon. Uh, our scout is pretty much uh, landlocked right now. Cannot move through. And so I think I'm just going to fortify him for now. Okay, looking at the situation over here. One, two, three, four-ish. Uh, maybe we move our settler up and settle on the shore. So we've got our fourth city in place. And we'll get that obelisk on the way. Uh, we've got one promotion still available. And I kind of want to wait just in case we've got to send... Uh, we've got to send uh, Victor over here or, or someone else. Yeah. Yep. Georgia is still saying we're settling too close. Um, I think it's you who has settled too close. There it is. Hippodrome. We just uh, we just picked up our normal age. Uh, this guy is going to die. So let's go ahead and try and pick up a little bit of health, a promotion for more movement. The Hippodrome now out. We are getting heavy ca uh, heavy cavalry, which is our chariot at the moment. Uh, because of that, let's just go ahead and move him here, and uh, we will. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and fortify. Uh, we are losing loyalty now, which was expected. So let's go ahead and appoint uh, Victor to Odessa. 
got another deal here for our horses, but uh, again, I think I'm gonna refuse for now. Open borders. You want open borders? I don't know if I trust you, but the gold would be nice. I think this is gonna haunt us. And the gold really isn't that much. You'd have to do better. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move towards an encampment, and I think um seeing the situation like right here right here would be good uh now we do have the ability to start picking up missionaries um so i think i think we go ahead and do that and uh let's start turning our our cities uh we're also going to pick up this unit it's a uh, nihang um, so it is, uh, it's a holy warrior of sorts. So we'll go ahead and pick that up, pick up a missionary as well. And, uh, we will, we will send this missionary this way. Okay. A barb camp has just appeared down here. That is unfortunate. We'll go ahead and move that guy forward. Uh, I'll bring this guy up and actually I wanted you in the city, but that's fine for now. Okay, you go ahead and spread. And we'll go ahead and bring you bring you over here. And let's go ahead and pick up another missionary just in case. For galley, we're gonna send up uh in this direction to kind of explore this area. But with Georgia pushing so hard, you know, we might kind of start pressing this way um i was really expecting us to go to war potentially but there is just uh there is no time <laughs> i don't know what happened uh, this is the quickest era i think i've ever i've ever had okay so that seems to have converted these two cities we'll move uh we'll move him up into adrian uh next turn uh this guy we can bring down to singapore and that's it. Uh, we are now in the medieval era. Um, I'm, again, just looking at the time. <laughs> uh, these eras usually take 45 minutes to an hour, uh, maybe more. Uh, that, that took 25 minutes. So um, I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be, but hopefully you enjoyed this really quick, this really quick era. Uh, but yeah, we now have uh, four cities. Uh, we are at turn 105. And um, man... Uh, I think I think war is going to occur soon. Uh, Georgia is very unfriendly with us right now. Well, unfriendly, not very unfriendly. Uh, we also have uh, Arabia, who's uh, angry at us. We've got Montezuma and the Aztecs. So uh, things are going to get uh, they're going to get real here very very soon. I can I can assume. That's it. My name is Mighty Beard. It's been a pleasure, and we will play Civ 6 here again very soon. Later.